This is my beautifully restored number six three notch lodge grill pan. I absolutely love how this came out. I did it using a lye bath, which is the technique that I chose. I thought I'd give you a little peek at what goes into that when I'm restoring a pan. Now, doing a lye bath as a technique isn't complicated, but you do need to be careful. I always use a pair of goggles to keep it from splashing into my eyes and a pair of gloves so that I don't get the um, caustic soda solution on my hands. And what I'm using is this particular item right here. Now, where you're just looking for something that's 100% lye and it must contain sodium hydroxide. If it doesn't contain that, it's not really gonna work um, like you want it to. This is the stuff you wanna be really careful using. And when you're using that, there's a couple of things that you need to be very careful about. You always wanna make sure you're using cold water and that you add the water before you add the solution, so, or the powder. So when you get that pretty much under control, then for the most part, you're okay. You're gonna want a container that's big enough to hold the solution and whatever pieces of uh, iron that you're gonna be putting in there. And uh, other than that, you're pretty much ready to go. I find it more effective to use a lye bath in a little bit of a warmer situation. So I put it out on my patio against a wall that gets sun most of the day. So it kind of helps it to work a little faster. If it's in the middle of winter or you don't really have a good sunny place, it's okay. It just won't work quite as fast if it's in a cold solution. So let's go ahead and let's get going. So laugh as some of you might, this has turned out to be the perfect size container for me to make a lye bath out of. It's um, a little bit taller instead of being wider, so it's really nice to be able to put a skillet in there. It's a good compact size. It has a lid that can come off and be sealed down on, and I just love it for that purpose. Today what I'm gonna be putting in there is this number nine skillet that I got. It's really pretty crusty. If I can get in there and show you a good look at it. And the lye bath will just take care of that. Whoops, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and just slip it right in. Number nine fits in there beautifully. Put the lid back on. And in a couple of days, we'll go ahead and have a clean skillet. This is a number nine, but anything for a number eight or less fits all the way in here under the solution. Really, if I added a little water to that, that handle would fit under as well. I'm going to go ahead and make a small solution of lye in here to add to that bucket because I'm going to go ahead and cover the handle of that number eight skillet that's in that lye bucket. So what you want to use is you always want to start out with cold water and you always want to add your lye solution to the water. You don't want to add the water to the lye solution. That would not be good. It would bubble up and heat and foam and just go all over the place and could uh, potentially uh, not be a good deal for you. So I have the water already in there. I'm just gonna add the amount of lye that I want. I don't really know a measurement on here. I think everybody just sort of uses what works for them. Then I'm gonna get a stick and stir that around and then we'll add it to the solution. And the one good thing about a lye bath is it really doesn't lose its um, strength. It's just evaporated because I've had that lye in there for a little while and it's summertime. But other than that, once you get a lye bath going, you can actually hang on to that for quite a while and it stays effective. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the lid to my lie bath. Let's adjust the camera a little. And you want to be very careful anytime you're handling any sort of solution like this. This is a caustic solution, so I'm just going to very carefully. Add the solution and then replace my lid. And there you go, easy peasy. The pan has been soaking in the lye for several days, so we're gonna go ahead and get it out. And let's find the handle. Wow, let me get my other glove on. I can already tell that it's gonna look really good. So you can kind of see all of the crud that's on the inside has all come completely off. I mean, this just looks beautiful. On the sides, 
and on the back here, I mean, literally, it's just, it just comes right off. All of it. Sides are fully exposed. Lye really does a good job on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse all this off. And then the next step would be to go ahead and soak this for about maybe a half an hour in a 50% water, 50% vinegar bath. Kind of neutralizes the, the lye. Then we'll scrub it up with a little bit of soap and start the seasoning process. So here's the number nine, all fully cleaned up and seasoned, and it's just beautiful. It has a nice finish on the inside. The sides came out really well, and it just is really, really nice. So I'm excited to add this lovely number nine to my collection. Now the back is unmarked, but it does appear to be a very early unmarked no-notch lodge pan. So that's really exciting. And that's just a look at how I would restore a pan using a lye bath.